Hey guys, Paul Roberts, www.backyardbblog.blogspot.com. <clears throat> Just want to show you my latest project I made today. This is a BVAC. I've seen some on the internet, so it's not my idea, but uh, this one's kind of unique to my situation here. Um, what I've got here, this is an old vacuum hose that was off of a, an old Craftsman vac that was bad. <clears throat> I drilled a hole inside of a uh, actually a four frame nuke hive and the uh, vac hose is joined in there. This right here is a valve and an opening with a screen behind it. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a screen behind there and this is allows allows me to vary the vacuum pressure. So if I wanted more vacuum, I just close that valve off. If I wanted less, open it up, and so forth. Again, this is just a standard new hive, and I put a, a plexiglass top on it. Of course, you can see inside standard new hive. Here's some. Here's how I attach the screen to the hole. Just use staples. Um, and on the opposite end, there's another screen with a hole and this is where my vacuum hose attaches to the back. Once I'm done uh, with the vacuum source I just remove it and close that off. I've not tried it yet but I think it'll work. I uh, I put a plexiglass top on the on it uh, so that I could actually see what's going on with the bees. Thought that might be a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, mainly, I wanted to see if I was vacuuming uh, too fast or uh, and actually killing the bees while I'm vacuuming. Anyway, that's my latest project. Thank you for watching.